It's DDM's update. I am Lydia Odwada on Diaspora Digital Media. Lawmakers increase retirement age of National Assembly staff while ignoring the greater workforce to rot away. Nigeria's National Assembly may have beaten more than they could chew after they passed a bill that arbitrarily extended the retirement age of National Assembly staff. The bill extended the retirement age of a staff from 60 years to 65 years and 35 active years to 40 years. More worrisome is the fact that the law was made separately for National Assembly staff only. It is also different from the federal law guiding the retirement age of workers across the country. And it was done without recourse to retirement age law. One could be tempted to ask, what prompted the National Assembly to make a law that will favor only a minute fraction of workers serving in the legislative facility without minding the effect of such retirement age on the populace of workers across the country. It could be recalled that the lawmakers of both the upper and lower legislative chambers, the Senate and the House of Representatives had passed the bill entitled Harmonized Bill for Retirement of National Assembly Staff to extend the retirement age of a staff from 60 to 65 years of age or 35 to 40 service years, whichever comes first. Nigeria happens to be one of the nations with a very high percentage of unemployed youths. Interestingly, there are civil servants who reduce their age to give them more time in service. While that is an ill wind that is already blowing negatively against graduates who litter the streets in search of jobs, the National Assembly has moved to increase the service year of their staff. Did the lawmakers consider the teeming youths that the universities are churning out on a regular basis? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem so. In sharp response to the bill, a group under the auspices of Maverick Foundation approached the Federal High Court in Abuja and asked the court to squash the bill. The matter involved interpretation of Section 318 of Nigeria's 1999 Constitution as amended, Rule 020908 of Public Service Rules of the Public Service of the Federation 2021. Find on your screen a copy of the application dated 5th March 2024, filed by Henry C. Okoro Esquire, Counsel to Maverick Foundation, with the case file number FHC slash ABJ slash CX slash 2024. In its affidavits in support of the motion on notice, Maverick Foundation argued that due process of law was not followed in passing the bill and that the bill is inconsistent with the Constitution. The lawmakers failed to consider the balance of convenience on the side of the generality of other public servants whose interests were not included in the bill. It therefore asks the court to stop any further perfection of the bill pending the determination of the substantive suits. Adding that the Constitution did not place National Assembly staff as special outside the contemplation of the public service rules. Thus, the legislators have no power to secretly pass a bill on issues that are subject to the Constitution without firstly amending the Constitution. The matter which has justice, a motor show of Court 8 of the Federal High Court, SCT Abuja presiding, came up for hearing on 18th of March 2024 and was adjourned till April 25th to enable the lawyer for the defendants, Abdul Mahmoud San, to file his response. Keep your borders to yourself. Niger Republic snubs Nigeria, Russia at the doors of Africa. 
Nigeria's neighbor, Niger Republic, seemed to have slammed the door shut on the face of her big brothers in a way, saying, keep your borders to yourself. After Nigeria's president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, ordered that all Nigeria's corridors, both on land and air, be opened. That was after ECOWAS in the previous week instructed that Nigerian land and air borders be opened with immediate effect. Tinubu also ordered that Nigeria resume full supply of electricity to their West African neighbors. Surprisingly, Niger has other plans as it snapped Nigeria and opened its doors wide to Russia. It turns out that the Nigerian brothers are not interested in the relationship anymore, which is evident in their resolve to keep the borders to Nigeria closed. Beyond keeping its doors to Nigeria tight, however, Niger asks the United States military to vacate their bases in the country, bringing their arch rivals, Russia, closer to the doorstep of Africa. Recent decision by Nigerian junta to revoke military agreements between U.S. and keep its borders with its Nigerian neighbor closed despite its West African brothers' reopening of ties speaks of growing influence of Russia's Africa Corp, a military complex that replaced its Wagner's group in the continent, say some diplomatic sources to diaspora digital media. Russia has a steady fighting corps of over 100 personnel providing military services, especially in the Alliance of Sahel states. Diplomatic sources are however convinced that such influence may not be good for Africa in the long run. Africa may see more cool like in the 60s and 70s. The continent can't afford to be made a battleground again, explained one of the diplomats who spoke to the online news platform. Also, the presence of about 1,100 US troops in Niger, operating from two bases including a drone base near Agadez, was deemed illegal by Colonel Amadou Abdramin. A Nigerian Air Force officer who has served as the spokesperson of the National Council for the Safeguard of the Homeland since the 2023 Nigerian coup d'etat on the 26th of July 2023. Colonel Abdurrahman stated on television that the U.S. delegation did not follow diplomatic protocols and that Niger was not properly informed about the delegation's composition, arrival date or agenda. Since taking part in July the previous year, the Niger junta, similar to military rulers in neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso, has expelled French and other European forces and sought support from Russia. In the meantime, Nigerians have expressed worries and warned their leaders on the need to pay attention and guard against the country being used as a substitute base for the American warmongers. That's it on DDM's update. I am Lydia Odwada saying thank you for staying tuned.